hello hello again my tnc row family and thank you guys for tuning in to another episode it's going to be a general read we're going to check in and see what the divine masculine is hiding <laughs> what are you not saying what's going on with him okay what secrets he may have at this time okay um because this is a general read it may or may not resonate with you take what does leave what doesn't energy is fluid so feel free to flip the switch and put yourself where you fit up in it understand because i say divine masculine that can still be a woman okay that can just be a woman who's in her her masculine energy so if the story resonates you know it's for you also if i'm saying he she her him i'm just speaking of masculine and feminine energy guys okay not actual men or women unless i say it's an actual man or woman okay um for those who are new here let me give you a quick disclaimer i live next to an airport so you will hear the airplanes i am not tall enough to reach the smoke detector even in a chair so you're going to hear that beat until i um finally decide to get somebody to fix it for me and last but not least you will probably hear the kids arguing yelling screaming fighting in the background because it is real life over here guys okay so with that being said let's check in with this divine masculine and see what's going on with him what is he heat what is he heating what is he hiding what is not being seen where is he at right now her name the father the son and the holy spirit where's the energy of the divine masculine at right now where's the divine masculine at right now where's the divine masculine at right now we need to jump okay so the divine masculine is is working on his spiritual self right now i do feel like he's elevating he's rising up what else is going on with the divine masculine there are some type of blockages there's some type of barrier. So there could be some type of barrier with his spirituality here. What's going on? Yeah, he's trying to figure out how to balance the scales here. What else is going on with Divine Masculine? Yeah, so he's still hiding behind something here. He's still hiding behind some type of mask. His spiritual development is being blocked or the spiritual connection is being blocked. Okay? His intuition may be being blocked at this time. He's trying to balance out his scales, but he's, he's hiding I feel like there's some type of deception here with this mask, okay? He's lying to himself, and he can't balance out this energy here. Yeah, so spirit guys are trying to guide him. The spirit realm is trying to guide him past this barrier here. Yeah, divine mask, I can't make it up. They're trying to get him past whatever this barrier is to elevate him, to help him balance out his balance out this energy that he's in at this time. Yeah, he's, he's dealing with some type of grief. Dealing with some type of heartache, some type of pain here. And that's a, a blockage here. What's the mask, Spirit? Uh oh, hold on, guys. Okay, yeah, so he wants to drop the mask, guys. He wants to revenge himself. So he's trying to balance out the scales. He's trying to get past whatever blockages there may have been. So he's, he might have some blockages doing with his past or dealing with his past, some type of grief here. And he's trying to balance that out. Okay, he's trying to step into this divine masculine energy here. He is being guided. He's trying to get some type of understanding. Okay, guys? Tell me more. Yeah, he does recognize that there is some type of soulmate connection between you two. There is a connection here. He's recognizing that. So he doesn't want to drop this mask. He does want to reinvent himself. He's trying to do some type of shadow work. He's trying to deal with these barriers here. He's trying to spiritually get through whatever blockages this is to balance out his, his fears. To, to, to drop whatever mask it is so he can reinvent himself so he can come to you here okay he's trying to do the shadow work yeah he, he knows that you're part of his soul tribe and he doesn't want to be in separation from you here okay so he may be numbing himself at this time because he knows you're a soulmate he's in, he, he's in some type of crossroads here about this connection with you okay and he's hoping that you'll be patient He's trying to deal with some inner childhood wounds, okay? But he is truly devoted to you here. And he does want to come in and put some action in because he's getting signs of synchronicities, okay? His money might be an issue at this time, but there's still something that he was lying about. It could have been his finances he was lying about, okay? His money might be an issue. You may make more money than him. That might be part of the problem. You may not feel like... um. He has enough money for, for you in this relationship. Or he could have been lying about his money. He could probably maybe have more money than what he says.
Okay, so Day After Forever by Eric Bellinger is on right now. It's not being seen. Let me find it. You see, and the tears weren't made for your pretty eyes, okay? They want to keep them dry. They don't want to see you cry. What else is not being seen? Tell me about this divine masculine. Yeah. Okay, so this this, this divine masculine is getting signs and recognition that, that with you is where they're supposed to be. Commitment is with you. So they're trying to drop their mask. They're trying to reinvent themselves. They're trying to heal their inner childhood issues here and drop whatever barriers there may have been because they, they uh, right, Eric Bedford says, I want us to be together. They want to be with you, okay? They want forever with you, the day after forever, from now until forever. The day after forever. Come on, Eric. What else is that? And they're not saying what else is not being seen. Yeah, they want you to know that you can have whatever you like. They say, what if they said they want to spend all their time with you and only you? Would you say yes? <laughs> I'm telling you. Go listen to Day After Forever, Eric Bellinger, y'all. Man, they want to know, do you want to move fast? Do you want to move slow? They just want to be there. Divine Masculine want to know. They just got to know. Oh, my God. You can have whatever you like. Look, they will open you, open your heart to something new here. They want this with you. They're coming to balance off the skill. They are willing to do whatever work. They are trying to heal their childhood issues. They're coming in as this divine masculine. They're doing the spiritual work here, guys. They're stepping up. Right. At the bottom of the deck, it says, trust is hard, but start with me. Okay. Look, he said, I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. Yes. <laughs> he said, you always on my mind. And you is true love, babies. Come through. Come on, Divine Masculine. Come through, Divine Masculine. Huh, he said, I'm genuine, baby. I'm genuine. This is genuine. Huh. Two marriage cards. This person wants to marry you. They want something long-term, stable, and commit. They know you're so me here, okay? They say they're always on their mind. They can't get you off their mind. You can have whatever you like. This is true love, baby. Open your heart to this. They want something new. They want to balance out the scale with you, and this is genuine. They want to build the trust with you, okay? They know that it's hard. They may have even lied to you in the past, but they want to fix that. They want to start over. They want to start something new with you. They want you to trust them. Huh. Right. Huh. Yeah, there was some type of hurt. Somebody's feelings were hurt. This person could be trying to get over this hurt from their past. Okay? They could be trying to heal this so they can come into you. They could have been abused and hurt by somebody else. And this could be from even childhood, guys. And this is what they're trying to heal, that inner childhood stuff. Yeah. So they, they have childhood issues here. They were hurt or abused as a child, okay? And... and they're trying to heal that. They're trying to get past it, okay? <laughs> and they're listening to their intuition about you. They're listening to their intuition about this situation. Yeah, they might have lied in the past. They might have been a liar. But they're trying to be genuine now. They want to be genuine now. Come through. Speak, Spirit. Yeah. They're hoping that you can see it from their point of view here. Okay? Yeah, there, there could have been... They're hoping that the Divine Feminine can see it from their point of view. Okay? Like I said, they could have lied in the past, but they, they lied because of their childhood, okay? Because of their own inner inner childhood issues and insecurities, things that they had to deal with. This is what the blockage was, but they're balancing these things out now, okay? They are doing the work. They are dropping the mask here, and they're coming in genuine, okay? They, they could even want to have a baby with you. So let's have a baby. So they want the family. They want the baby, right? In a short period of time, okay, you're going to get some type of information, you could be short. Anything else, Jerry? Yeah, they say there's no me without you. Okay. Confidently lost by Sabrina Claudio. C-L-A-U-D-I-O. Go check it out. Okay. She said she wants you to come find me because I'm not hiding. Okay, so I feel like your divine masculine is coming to find you. And divine film says come find me because I'm not hiding. I think that's it, guys. Huh. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, it does say patience is a virtue. 
anything else here, spirit, for divine masculine. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave it here. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Please hit the subscription button if you like the way I read and click the bell. That helps me draw into your energy so that more re re so that more readings um, can resonate with you. I can get more of your energy, more of your story so your story can pop out so you can, you know, get what you came here for. Um, if you guys have booked a personal with me, if you guys have left me tips or donations, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is greatly appreciated. If you're interested in booking a personal, buying any type of products, or um, leave me a tip or donation. All that information is down below in the description box. So until next time, you guys, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. And Bye, my babies.